Alright, so this is a 1951 Humber Super Snipe Mark III. Uh, based in Dunedin, New Zealand. Just going around it very slowly. So you can see the kind of general condition that it's in. It's a very original car. Um, I'm the third owner. Well, the other two have been families, so they may have had more than one owner in a family. Uh, first owners were Go based 1951 to 1969. Uh, the following owners from 1969 to approximately uh, just over a year ago, 2016, February, and I've owned it since then. Thinking about selling it, although it's only not uh, committed to the process, it doesn't have to happen. But if anybody's interested, this is what it looks like. So I did have a number of photos on uh, Trade Me, but I um, thought this might be a, a little bit better. So walking around it, you can see that it has a sunroof, uh, which is currently open. Nice sunny day here in Dunedin. So that's the walk around. What I'll do now is I'll open some doors and things like that. I'll let you have a bit of a close-up look at the um, right front guard. So the right front guard, as you can see, is different paintwork to the rest of the vehicle. So it's uh, ad marks and different colouring and stuff like that. None of the paintwork is 100%, but it's generally good, tidy. A uh, few scratches and knocks and things like that, but generally um, a very good car. So just coming along the sides of the bonnet here. So looking out over the bonnet now. Super Snipe emblem at the front. Humber, just in case you've forgotten what it was already. And coming down the grill. Okay, so the grill's not perfect. But it's good, it does the job. Number plates, now you may think it's been re-registered at some point, and it has, but it's been continuously uh, registered in New Zealand. It was on black plates originally. The guy who owned it before me thought it might be nice to have personalized plates. Changed his mind at some point, and we're back to uh, the more modern plates. You'll see that it has a split screen, uh, this is not normal for one of these. It's been made to look like a split screen for some reason. I have no idea why. So driver's door, coming down the door. So you can see what it's looking like there. Going across to the right hand passenger door, coming up. So you can see what it looks like there. And the roof. That's pretty darn good. It's a roof. <laughs> so, uh, that's what that looks like. Rear window. And rear guard with spats on. Looks alright without them, but even better with them. Just coming around to the rear in the close up block. So you've got the bottom of the boot in there here. So as you can see, there's no sort of real rust or anything in it, uh, just lots of. Um, Little scratches and things, but if you were 66, you might be looking a little worse for wear, too. Okay, so that's the rear. Coming down on the left hand side of the car now, the passenger side. So this is the left rear. You can see some scratches and stuff on the spat there. Coming up towards the window and coming across to the Left rear passenger door, coming down the door, down the door, okay, coming up <coughs> the left front, excuse the cough, and then we have the left hand side of the bonnet. So pretty much the same as the right, no real difference from side to side. The left front guard, however, is better than the right front guard.
only to look at, both about the same condition wise. So that's the car. My mate here is just busy opening the doors, so we'll just rush over to the back. So uh, this is the rear of the car, interior, lovely leather, lovely smell, um, not bad condition, it's uh, original and uh, here's some, some of the roof lining, so it's, uh, it's pretty good, a little bit saggy but um, it's pretty good. So this is the uh, interior. So the mats, um, the carpets or whatever, they're just uh, carpet, carpet, just sitting there on top of the floor. But it's all, it's all good. Whoops, excuse me. Underneath, and background to the front. Just opening the front door up. This is what the door looks like. So it's showing all its years of use, but it's not terrible. In fact, I rather like it like, like this. It uh, has a lot of character. And through into the interior. I do have uh, seat covers on there, but as you can see, pretty damn good for 66 years old. And over towards the driver's side. Looking up, so we have your steering wheel with your uh, trafficator um, changer on the top. We have our instruments, very, very simple in a car like this. So not much to see there at all. Cigarette lighter, glove box. The glove box is there, occasionally there. Missing the bottom or whatever, but uh, this one's there. So that's the glove box. Nothing to write home about. Once again, just carpets in the front. But, you know, it's pretty good underneath them. I'd have to be honest and say it does leak a little, but um, I try not to use it on a on a rainy day. Careful when I wash it, etc. And this is the engine, all four cylinders, uh, six cylinders, sorry, four litre. And you will see here a nice shiny black piece of work, then there's a new, brand new brake booster. Uh, brake booster. $600 worth there and um, the car all right I drove it down from Rangiora when I bought it that was a little bit of a nightmare so I've spent quite a bit of money on brakes and stuff like that getting it all sorted it goes really really well now and the brakes are pretty darn good for a car this age and size so being an older car you have to allow yourself some time to sort of um, anticipate people's movements Oops, losing focus a bit here. In fact, I've lost it completely. Sorry about that, ended up with my button on there. Ah, what's happened? 